welcome to the world of english with sakshi khanna once again it is a continual session for grade 11 once again book on bill chapter 3 we are not afraid to die so guys today is it is a third part of the lesson today we will be finishing the story properly and we will discuss some of the question answers as well but before i move on i just want to talk to you yesterday i decided to have a conversation with you but couldn't make it possible okay because i don't know the timings of you all and it is not possible to call you personally all the students okay so we will find out some way next week i want to have a zoom session with you first of first of all we will talk about the video lessons okay and i clear your doubt here some of the students have requested that on youtube when we get the lecture we are not getting that things clearly i understand your point and i totally agree to you people but the reason is that that this is the only way and afterwards if you are having some problem in that lecture content you are not able to see you are not able to note down who is saying to find out the content to write you need to listen only what i am saying please listen to me in my video lesson it is all about the listening you need to listen with your close eyes and you will get the content in the pdf form or the text based form on the group wall and that i am sending you so there is no question of any problem okay so i am repeating once again in my video lesson you need to focus over the listening basically over the listening and followed by that i am sending you the pdf based text which i am sharing in the video lesson the same i am sending you on your walls so there is no question of confusion i hope you understood my point so shall i move on to the lecture page number 16 moving ahead but let me brief you up about the story the story from hornbill textbook describes the author and his family's experience in 1976 as they try to duplicate the round the world sea voyage voyage means the journey the expedition made by the famous explorer james cook 200 years ago in their professionally built ship waywalker waywalker was a ship and they wanted to repeat the task because it was a dream of them to follow the same dream of james cook famous explorer the sailors encountered encounters means faced strong gales gales means very strong winds and gigantic gigantic extensively large waves up to the size of their main mast it's a kind of a tower that forced them to take safety precautions on january 2nd they met a massive wave which broke over deck with a tremendous explosion and filled the boat with water yesterday we have seen the same thing we have seen the same thing we discuss about that how he made the repair how the water the strong gales and gigantic waves made utmost damage to the boat the author his wife and two crewmen took charge of the situation calmly means full patiently they didn't create any panic and took steps to prevent the ship from drowning the two small children too showed extreme bravery and proclaimed that they are not afraid to die if they can all be together fearless fearless feeling we see faith optimism strength and sheer courage absolute courage shown by everyone on board help them to survive so again i am just saying one thing that it is same for everyone to follow the things in the real life in reality also i just want to tell you what we need the faith faith on our hard work optimism our feelings strength and absolute courage not to lose courage anyhow not to be disheartened anyhow whatever the situation you need to create the things or the situation favorable which they have done in the story let's start reading from the textbook and i hope you all are sitting with the same 
Main rib frames were smashed down to the keel. Keel is here steel structure along the base of the ship. Means where he got hit. He was smashed down to the keel and he got injuries in the main rib frames. In fact, there was nothing holding up a whole section of the starboard hull except a few cupboard partitions. There was nothing to take the support. Nothing. Hull means the framework of the vessel. The framework, framework done around. So there was nothing to hold properly. So he got the injury. We had survived for 15 hours since the wave hit. So this was the 15th hour. Okay, after the gigantic wave hit the boat. But wave walker wouldn't hold together long enough for us to reach Australia. Australia was their destination, final destination. But wave walker got major damage. It was very difficult. It seemed very difficult that wave walker would hold enough for them to reach to Australia. That was their target country. I checked our chat. And calculated that there were two small islands a few hundred kilometers to the east. One of them, El Amsterdam, was a French scientific base. So, after searching out in the map or the chart, he found one option. First, uh, first option, El Amsterdam, which was a French scientific base. Before that, they wanted to land in some of the, in any of the island so that they could repair their boat and boat was in the drastic condition our only hope was to reach these pinpricks in the west ocean pinprick what does it mean a prick caused by a pin means there were two islands there were two islands in the vast ocean one was amsterdam and second they haven't mentioned but unless the wind and seas abated abated means something unpleasant to become less intense abated something less pleasant but with low frequency of the problems so but unless the wind and seas abated so we could hoist sail our chances would be slim indeed slim indeed very less chances are very less but we will not lose the hope we will make it possible and we will fight till our last breath this was their decision everyone's decision and everyone was supporting each other that is why i'm telling you the faith on your hard work is must to face any sort of challenge in the life the great wave had put our auxiliary engine out of action auxiliary you all know the helping the supporting auxiliary engine the supporting engine small secondary engine the great wave had put our auxiliary engine out of action. Now their supporting engine also out of working. On January 4, after 36 hours of continuous pumping, 36 hours of continuous pumping, you can feel the body, how exhausted, exerted, exhausted body of everyone. We reached the last few centimeters of water. Now we had only the key pace with the water still coming in. Water was still coming in. Even though he repaired the boat, he repaired that area, that starboard area from where water was getting into the boat, but not properly. Sorry for disconnecting. Now we had only to keep pace with the water still coming in. We could not set any sail on the main mast. Pressure on the rigging. Rigging means here the ropes and the wires supporting the structure of the ship. If you have seen the ship, I showed you. Okay. Otherwise, you can see any of the ship with a framework. You can understand all the technical vocabulary which they have put in this chapter. So, pressure on the rigging would simply pull the damaged section of the hull apart so we hoisted the storm zip and headed for where i thought the two islands were there was other minor issues also but he avoided now major as well as the minor and he just targeted anyhow 
in any condition in any of the circumstances he just targeted that island any of the island mary found some corned beef and cracker biscuits and we ate our first meal in almost two days they didn't have any meal and which meal they had after 48 hours that was corned beef and cracker biscuits but our respite was short-lived what do you mean by respite? A short period of rest. Respite was short leave. Short period means a nap. Nap you can say. A very small time for spending to rest the body. At 4 p.m. black clouds began building up behind us. Again it was becoming dark and cloudy. Within the hour the wind was back to 40 knots. This is the speed limit and seas were getting higher. Again, the same situation they were observing. The weather continued to deteriorate. Deteriorate means getting worse. Deteriorate, getting worse throughout the night. And by dawn on January 5, our situation was again desperate. They again became hopeless. But still, even though everywhere dark, 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 but still they didn't leave the hope. They didn't create any panic and supporting each other. When I went in to comfort the children, John asked, Daddy, are we going to die? Even the kids were also observing everything. I tried to assure him that we could make it. Being a father and the captain of the ship, he said the same what everyone has to say at that situation. Daddy, he went on, we are not afraid of dying if we can all be together, you and mummy, Sue and I. So he simply said, even though father satisfied the boy question properly, but he simply reverted him back and he said again, we don't afraid to die because we all are together. So this was the optimism which boosted the father up to put every force to save the boat anyhow. I could find no words with which to respond. He didn't respond because he got speechless. But I left the children's cabin determined to fly the sea, to fight the sea. It was like a war with the water, with everything I had. Every force he put in that task. To protect the weakened starboard side, I decided to heave to. Heave means here, to raise or lift with effort. Now, again, because from where the damage was getting into the boat, damage was made into the boat, the same side he wanted to protect. He wanted to protect the weakened starboard size. I decided to heave to, to raise or lift with effort. Anyhow, to make the repairing part to the boat. With the undamaged boat, Hull facing the oncoming waves using an improvised sea anchor of heavy nylon. Anchor is here. It's not the anchor of the thing. Okay. Anchor of heavy nylon rope and two 22 liter plastic barrels of paraffin. Paraffin is here. It's a liquid colorless flammable oil. Okay. 22 tanks. 22 Little plastic barrels of paraffin and with the heavy nylon rope, he anchored moor a ship to the sea bottom. So this was kind of barrigating you can say or the barrier he put so that water could not get into the ship. That evening Mary and I sat together holding hands as the motion of the ship brought more and more water in through the broken planks, the broken planks from where the wooden hull was broken from the same broken planks water was getting inside. Even though they managed the damage, they repaired the boat, but still water was getting into the boat. So that evening they both sat together holding the hands. We both felt the end was very near. Now they decided but didn't say openly. But Waywalker rode out the storm and by the morning of January 6th with the wind easing. Wind easing means pacified wind, settled wind, not dangerous wind, strong wind. It was 
come pe come when i try to get a reading on the sextant what do you mean by sextant here an instrument with graduated arc of 60 degrees for taking altitudes and navigation an instrument which an instrument which is used for the navigation and to take the altitude during the voyage so he was checking as the wave walker wrote out the storm and by the morning january 6 with the wind easing i tried to get a reading on the sextant back in the chart room i worked on wind speeds he worked on wind speed and checked in the chart room as well through sextant that the location location of the boat course chilling golf course means he went to the chart room to see the location it's all about the location because in that morning he wanted to know the exact location and the distance of that island because the wind was not so strong that time drift and current in an effort to calculate our position he calculated the position and located where they are now the best i could determine was that we were somewhere in 1 lakh 50000 kilometers of ocean looking for a 65 kilometer wide island look at the location here how they explain that in 1 lakh 50000 kilometers of ocean looking for a 65 kilometer wide island they were looking for that small tiny island of 65 kilometer only while i was thinking su moving painfully su came to the father and joined him the left side of her head was now very swollen and her blackened eyes narrowed to slits slits means the coverage of the eyelid she gave me a card she had made she gave a card to the father on the front she had drawn caricatures caricatures are some cartoon type cartoon cartoon based you can say picture of a person or a cartoon okay or a cartoon so caricatures were drawn on the card on the front she had drawn caricatures of mary and me with the words here are some funny people did they make you laugh i laughed a lot as well inside was a message oh ho i love you both so this card is to say thank you and let's hope for the best somehow we had to make it this was the card to boost up the energy level of the parents because you understand being a child you can understand if you get some injury what will be the status of your parents they were also in the trouble means four fold more trouble they will have in the same way the kids were supporting their father boosting their father so that by saying how the son said we are not afraid to die because we all are together and how the girl pacified the father and boost her energy more to save the boat she made a beautiful card i checked and rechecked my calculation he was fully focused in the calculation we had lost our main compass compass was lost and i was using a spear which had not been corrected for magnetic variation and the spear one was not giving the actual calculation i made an allowance for this and another estimate of the influence of the westerly currents which flow through this part of the indian ocean so he just managed anyhow to find out the location about 2 pm i went on deck and asked larry to steer a course of 185 degree he gave command to larry if we were lucky i told him with the conviction i didn't feel he could expect to see the island at about 5 pm now they with the calculation they all decided that if we are going to the right way to the right side to the right position you can say then within an hour we will find out our destination that is small tiny island amsterdam by 5 pm then with a heavy heart i went below climbed on my bunk and amazingly dozed off dozed off means slept off when i woke it was 6 pm he gave 
the timing to Larry that is by five we will be there. But it was now six when he woke up. And growing dark, it was getting dark. I knew we must have missed the island. And with the sail we had left, we could not hope to beat back into the westerly winds. So he was just thinking when he saw dark around because it was 6 in the evening. Okay, he simply said that we must have lost our destination, our island. And we can't go back to into the westerly winds. So there is no chance. At that moment... A tousled head appeared by my bunk. Can I have a hug? Jonathan asked. Sue was right behind him. Both the kids came towards the bunk where he was taking nap. Why am I getting a hug now? I asked. Father asked. Hug for what? But we are not safe. There is no happiness. We are in trouble. So hug for what? He got surprised. Because you are the best daddy in the world and the best captain. My son replied, not today. John, I am afraid. He said, not today. I am not a good father. And the captain as well. Why you must be? Said Sue in a matter of fact voice. You found the island. Actually, they found the island. But he didn't get it. What? I shouted. It's out there in front of us. They caressed as big as a battleship. As big as a battleship, they just screamed, shouted. I rushed on deck. He ran towards the deck area and gazed, looked with relief. Now, definitely there was a sign of relief at the stark outline. Stark means sharply defined. Sharply defined outline of that tiny island. Of 65 kilometers only. It's out there in front of us. The caress. I rushed on deck. Stark outline of Al Amsterdam. It was only bleak piece of volcanic. Built an area of land lacking vegetation. Very small area. Very small area where there is no vegetation. Without any vegetation, that was the area. Bleak area. Bleak piece of volcanic rock. It was just a volcanic rock where there is no vegetation even. This was a situation of island. With little vegetation or you can say no vegetation. The most beautiful island in the world for them. Yes, indeed true. Because they were getting into the earth. After fighting with the death in the sea. Page number 18. We anchored offshore for the night. For the night they were away from the shore, seashore. And the next morning all 28 inhabitants. Inhabitant the people were living on the island. The island was of width of 65 kilometers. And just 28 inhabitants were living. As they helped us ashore. They helped them to Move out from the boat with land under my feet again. This last paragraph is very important to understand. Maximum question you will get on the basis of these texts which we are getting in this paragraph. So please focus over that. With land under my feet again. My thoughts were full of Larry and hubby. Cheerful and optimistic under the direst stress. Direst stress too much means a... Uh, Beyond the limit, they had that much stress and of Mary, who stayed at the wheel for all those crucial hours. He was refreshing his memory the moment he touched the land. Most of all, I thought of a seven-year-old girl who didn't want us to worry about a head injury. Then he remembered the situation of his daughter, just a seven years old, who got major injury on the head which subsequently took six minor operations, six minor operations after that to remove a recurring blood clot. Blood clot happened to that area, swollen area between skin and the skull and of a six-year-old boy who was not afraid to die. And he made the sentence, we are not afraid to die, which is the title of the story. So this was all about what I want to say you here, that it's all the... Matter of courage, patience, be patient in every situation and find out the way. More you need to work over the solutions, not to find out the problems always.
problems will be there around every time so let us move ahead with the understanding text i will just give you some brief idea about the questions list the steps taken by captain means what you need to put in such type of questions because these are text based on the twisted technology twisted technology means the answer will be very simple but the question will be in the twisting language so list the steps taken by the captain so in the story we had discussed about the repairing okay the barrigating find from where the water was coming pumping out the water so all the situation you need to put in this question to protect the ship when rough weather began to check the flooding of the water in the ship in the second part we will be discussing about the we will be putting the answer related to the pumping the water out from the boat and to protect the ship means the repairance which repairing was made describe the mental condition of the voyagers on 4th and 5th mental condition of the voyagers voyagers here lady and the husband means the father and two crewmen what they both were doing they both were talking they both were they all were thinking sorry we need to put in that question describe the shifts in the narration of the events now in the series of events as indicating in the three sections of the text give a subtitle to each section so this can be your long question as well in this you need to divide the whole journey in three segments okay and give the title if we talk about the first segment okay when they were just till the at the edge of south portion of indian ocean journey was journey was pleasant pleasant journey okay the first leg of the journey was pleasant in this way you need to give the titles as well now talking about the text again you can see such type of questions what difference did you notice between the reaction of the adults and the children when faced with danger their feeling their injuries after effects also card making okay the statement which the boy made to the father okay so these all things you need to put how does the story suggest that optimism helps to endure the dire stress yes of course this answer i give you properly because with faith with courage with patience with optimism you can win any difficult war any difficult situation you can face everything in the life but you need to be optimist first of all second thing collect maximum courage and third thing faith on you you need to make a faith first of all so these all about the questions okay and uh, rest at number 3rd and 4 you need to tell about the adventurous expedition in spite of the risk involved in this you can give the example reference of gordon as well james cook or you know if anyone who had the same expedition or adventurous if you have done any sort of adventurous journey people love to go to ladakh by bikes so or such type of example you can put okay to justify your answer okay guys before i sign you off i just close this session today by saying this important lesson which i had also and i want you to also learn that we learn from such as others experiences which was made which were made by the couple and the crew man we are face to face with death okay they were face to face with that is not to lose hope in sorry for getting disconnecting we learn from such as others experience we are face to face with death is not to lose hope even though you are not getting any way it doesn't mean that you will lose the hope under any circumstances never lose your hope never get disheartened at times life presents very dire means nearly hopeless situation for everyone but if one is optimistic yes how we will be know the situation if we are optimistic about finding a solution more more inclined to solution less to the problems and overcomes the odds one will always be successful in the mission as they were on the mission to save the boat save the life and they made it possible so till the time thank you so much stay protected stay safe and by evening you will be getting all the pdf paste or the text paste whatever i feel will be forwarded to you 
ओके एंड यू नीड टू पेन डाउन योर नोट्स एज वेल देन यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग द थिंग्स एंड वीडियो लेसन इज जस्ट फॉर द लिसनिंग एंड लिसनिंग ओनली ओके गाइज स्टे सेफ सपोर्ट योर पेरेंट्स बी पेशेंट एवरी सिचुएशन वी विल ओवरकम बट विद स्ट्रेंथ एंड फेथ ऑन अस थैंक यू